Hey, so this is just a quick video on how to screen the INAD observations for Bio 140 and Bio 150 course projects. So the first thing you're going to do is log into iNaturalist, and once you're in there, you should see a screen something that looks like this, and you should see your little username up there. And basically, we want just want you to find the appropriate project. So I'm going to look for projects. So basically, I'm just clicking this community tab right here, clicking on projects. And then I'll just search JMU under this projects. And then this is the 140 project and this is the 150 project. So I'm going to start out just looking at the 150 project. And essentially what you want to do is just screen observations for this semester. And so you can go down here and it'll show the most recent observations that are posted in there. And essentially what we're doing is figuring out whether or not they're appropriate or not. And then basically just editing them. And so the way we'll do that is basically let's just look at the observations from this semester. Um, one of the best ways that you can do this is go in and just click on the observation like that. You can see the photos that are in there. Um, and essentially what you want to look at is number one, is there a photo? Uh, number two, uh, is this information in there? So when it was observed. And is there a general location for it? Uh, number three, you're going to want to basically copy and paste the DNA barcode sequence. So copy this and then go into NCBI Blast and just do a Blast N, paste it into there, and do that Blast. So you can go ahead and hit Blast. And you just want to confirm that the ID that they have and the information that you get from this matches what they have there. So this is all the observation fields that they filled in. For example, you can see the blast alignment, the bit score, the number of mismatches, this info here. Not no significant salinity found. So basically, their sequence is junk. And they put it's a vascular plant. And so this is essentially useless to us because it's not matching with anything. If that's the case, you can just remove it from the project. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from project. One thing we can do is we can find unsuitable observations. And you can click this little filter button. And then let's just search for basically all the observations within a range. And so we just want to say this semester started about October 23rd. And then it ends on, let's just say, today. And let's see update search. And so basically this will tell us these are all the observations that have been added in between those dates. And so now we can start to look at those observations and see whether they're appropriate for the project or not. So here's another observation, Atlantic salmon. Um, these photos look fine. Um, and then they've got it identified as Salmo Salar. And so let's take that ID, copy it, delete the old one, paste in the new one, Hit blast. While that's blasting, you can go through. And the only other major thing to look at is mark whether or not the organism is wild. And so if it's any sort of captive or cultivated organism, just make sure that the appropriate thing is selected right here. So go ahead and hit the down button on that. So this is Salmo Salar, also known as Atlantic Salmon. Bit score is 551. Percent identity or percent similarity is 86%. So we can just check if that stuff's pretty much the same. Bit score 570. And percent similarity, 86.21. So if that stuff's wrong, or if any of it uh, needs to be altered, just send an email to this person and tell them what they're supposed to change, and hopefully they'll go and do it.
Um, in the meantime, you can either agree with the identification or you can add in a different identification by if you get something different, you can add that in here. So I'll just put agree. And then this will be marked as reviewed and then just move on to the next one. So I'll just hit the back button. This is that search and I'll do the next one. So on and so forth. Basically, if something doesn't have any sequence here, if this is missing, there's no good sequence here. Or if it's just like matching to nothing like that Apple one was, you can just remove it from the project. So just click this little uh, thing right here and hit remove from project. Um, but if it's good, then leave it there. Um, the other thing is anything that's seafood, please add it to the seafood project. So seafood, this is barcoding JMU fish and seafood. Um, and then you're gonna have to add in this information. So like original labeling, this would be Atlantic salmon. And then final ID would be Atlantic salmon. And this is Salmo salar. So including the genus and species. And this is also Salmo salar. And then just hit the little add button here, add button here. And now it'll let me add it to the project. It's going to be if you have something like, let's see, this has copyright media removed. There's no location on it. It says delete me. And then there's some barcoding data here, but it's basically useless because we have no idea what's going on with it. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove this from the project. Um, the other part is if you have stuff that's uh, not a captive species. So this is like a wild mushroom that was ID'd. It's got a barcode. It's ID'd as an Earth star. Um, and it's also obviously a wild organism. In that case, if you've got a wild organism, you can add this to the Bio 140 project. So I'm going to go in and put in this barcoding biodiversity at JMU Bio 140. And so it's got information that needs added. And so one part is the sample collection site. We don't really know where the collection site. So in this point, just put other. And then hit add to project. And of course, before you add this to the project, you're going to go through and edit everything. So make sure that this ID matches. So if I copy this and I blast it, so as a quick recap. First, you'll log in to the appropriate project in iNaturalist. So that'll be either the Bio 150 or the Bio 140 project. Once you're in the appropriate project, then what you're going to do is use the filter to basically filter all the observations and look only for observations that fall under the dates for this semester. So basically, you just set a date for the start of the semester and the end of the semester. So you just get those observations that have been uploaded by students this semester. Once you've got all of those observations that were uploaded for this semester, then you're basically going to screen those observations to see that there's a good photo, that there's a viable DNA sequence, an appropriate ID, and that you basically take that DNA sequence, paste it into BLAST, and confirm that the ID is appropriate. Um, and you can add in new IDs using iNaturalist. Um, and then you can mark those observations as reviewed. Um, in addition, you're going to make sure that all the supplementary data there are as close to correct as possible. If they're way, way, way off, please just email the student and ask them to change that stuff.
Um, and also make sure that any captive species are marked as such down at the bottom. So if you scroll down to the bottom of an observation, you'll be able to basically click that little thumbs down thing to mark any species that are captive. Um, and like I said before, email a student if any really anything's way, way, way off. Um, anything that doesn't have good DNA sequence or it looks like it's a duplicate observation or you can't ID it to at least the family level because the sequence is so bad, please just remove it from the project. And anything that's seafood, please add to the seafood project. And anything that's a wild organism, please add to the Bio 140 project. And that's it.